What is going on guys? Alex from here coming at you with another YouTube video today. We're at Anarchy Gym. This is in Owings Mills, Maryland. Uh, pretty cool vibes here. It's a little bit different, uh, decent size. But today we're doing a Frank Zane workout. Basically, I looked up, for, I'm a big fan of Frank Zane. I try to model my physique after his. So I'm so big into the whole vacuum, the whole golden era, everything of aesthetics of bodybuilding. Frank Zane's easily my favorite bodybuilder. So we're gonna be doing a challenge doing one of his workouts today. It's gonna to be one of his push workouts. So we're training chest, shoulders, and triceps. Uh, I found a, uh, like a like a source online showing uh, an example of it. So basically I have it right here and I'll probably pop it up on the screen as I go through it. But first off, we're starting off with chest, doing barbell bench press, uh, six sets, and it's a pyramid, or a, it goes down. So you start off with 12, 10, eight, six, four, two. So we'll probably end up getting to some heavy weight at the end of the sets. Um, and then 70 degree incline press, 10 degree, de 10 degree de decline. So there's actually a lot of volume in this, which I'm not used to. Um, and I haven't done a push day in a minute, so they're usually pretty exhausting. So let's get it, let's get started and let's run it up. High bench, he does six sets, going down, uh, starting high rep, 12, then going on to 10, eight, six, four, two, increasing weight each and every set. So I'm gonna start out warming up here with 135, work our way up. If you guys didn't watch the one video where I did my one rep max, we got 265. So we're not going for one rep max, but two rep max today, technically. So we'll see what we get. All right, so you're gonna see in this workout that my bench is weak, weak as hell, okay? And I, I'm blaming it because I did triceps last night or the night before this, I did a lot of close grip bench, so my triceps were a little sore, and I was getting a little bit of tendonitis, I think that's what you call it. So that's my excuse, so don't find me down below. But uh, the cool thing is that my bulk is going to start, I'm thinking mid-October. So the goal right now, I'm weighing around 168 to 170 pounds in the morning. Yes, I'm very light. I don't know what it is. I think I just, I just have good proportions and I fill out well. Um, but I'm gonna bulk up to 190. So you guys will see me bulked up. I have not made any bulking series or anything on my channel. So uh, I'll probably do some type of strength series. Um, the only reason I have not bulked up so much yet is because content just does better when you're more aesthetic and you're more lean. It sucks, you know, being in the fitness industry, like numbers are an important thing because this is what I, I make a living off of. This is what my job is and I pursue as a, as a dream. So like bulking, the content just doesn't do as good, meaning you're not making as much money. And because I'm natural, I can't really maintain this super lean physique year round. It sucks. And that's one of the reasons why I've, I've really wanted to go not natty, but I know that I inspire a ton of kids and I want to set a good, a good, uh, role model for them you know what i mean so i'm gonna stay natural for the entirety of my career anyways i just wanted to keep get you guys updated on that just a rant um so stay up to date for when i start this bulk mid-october gonna get a little bit leaner before then thank you guys god bless love you guys and enjoy the rest of the video all right so obviously my bench was a little weaker i did triceps last night some closer bench so that's my my reasoning but uh next up we have a 70 degree incline dumbbell press now the benches over there are weird. I'm just gonna do a Smith machine incline. Uh, I hope it's not a big deal. Um, I like doing Smith machine over dumbbells sometimes. So uh, he does 70 degree incline. So 70 degrees, this is 45. 70 is gonna be like here. So we're pretty vertical right now. Maybe a little farther back, but he does a really high incline. Really target your upper chest and the front delt. So it's gonna be like here, I'm thinking. Does this look like 70 degrees in math? You're in math class right now? I dropped out. Yeah, I did too. What is it? Gotta be seven. Oh, my testicle. Oh, I just scraped it. Dead ass, that should hurt. All right, okay, so for this, it is gonna be four sets, 10, eight, six, and then four to six. So, 10 reps first, put on like 155. Only three sets, all right. Next up is 10 degree decline dumbbell flies. Three sets, so I'm gonna go to some dumbbells. Uh, because I tore my labrum, I gotta be careful when I do these, so I'm gonna do like a shorter range of motion, but the amount of volume here is insane. I, I never do this much volume for chest. I do like two, three exercises and I'm done. The amount of sets is crazy. Really feeling it, my delts, everything's already getting tired. We still have the triceps and the shoulders to go, so this is gonna suck. Yeah. 
Now we're gonna get into uh, triceps and shoulders. So we have close to your bench press, three sets, then one arm overhead extensions, and V grip press downs. We got a bunch, then we have shoulders, we only have two things. Went over dumbbell lateral raise, side cable raises, so side delt only. Then we got some abs. So I'm gonna show you guys me training abs, which is the first on this channel. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're gonna go into the shoulders and uh, triceps, finish it up. Broken along, I feel the rain crashing down All around this empty town I'm searching for the lost and found But you don't care, you're unaware Keep moving like the scars aren't even there It's in the air, like a blazing flare Oh my gosh, I gotta edit that out, man! Alright, so that is it for the workout. Frank saying workout. The volume was insane. Uh, I usually don't do that much volume, like I said before, but trying to old school workout, that was fun. Definitely more than I would usually do, so I'm gonna go rest up, eat. Um, I'll give it a solid. I feel like there just wasn't enough contraction based stuff. It was all just like weight, like heavy compound lifts. So I'll give it like an 8 out of 10. Uh, it's personally something I won't do every day. But yeah, this place is awesome. Like, it looks like a little gym. tour, huh? What do you rate the gym? Well, I rate, purely because of this, I would give it a 9 out of 10. The gym itself could be bigger, could have better lighting in the actual gym, but like this room alone, I would want in my house. Like, you, what, do we have these on when we did it? Were these yeah, on? I think. I don't know, but this stuff right here, I'm recording this just because whenever I get a house one day, I want to have this in my house type shit. Like, I want the, the black walls, like, yeah. Chain, yeah, that's so dope. Got a ton of crazy pictures. I'll, pop, I'll probably have the video pop up and show you guys little physique update. We are not super lean, but we're trying to get there. Um, got probably over three pounds to lose before I'm happy and then we'll bulk up one last bulk over over the summer and over fall. Uh, because I'm so natural, the goal is to get to probably 190 over the course of this next bulk. And it's probably gonna be one of my last bulks. Like I'm not gonna, I don't like bulking up. I need to be lean uh, for content purposes, but I'll probably do like a strength series, something that'll keep content fun instead of being super shredded. So. Uh, stay tuned for that. I think I'm going to start uh, mid-October and we'll go all the way probably for eight months of just straight up bulking um, and see where we get to physique-wise.
try. This is new. Apple crisp macchiato. What's on the bottom? Is that caramel? That's... I think you gotta mix it up. Hold up. I don't think I did that right. How lo how are you supposed to get the shit on the bottom? Oh. It's alright, you can try it. So we're about to go clean the whip. Uh, it's time to wash it. I usually wash it like once, twice a week. Um, counts as cardio technically, because I'm being active. So uh, yeah, go wash it, do a quick, quick B-roll montage. I want the foam gun. I don't think my dad has it set up right now. What is going on guys? So it is the next day. I woke up super late. I'm very tired and drained. I feel like I definitely need a rest day. So I'm gonna take the day off today. I'm gonna relax a bit. This is my little snack for the day and a bar. Use code Alex, we get a little discount and you will support me. These are the best tasting protein bars in the market. These and Fit Crunch. I'm not with Fit Crunch, right? I'm with Anabar. Both of those two, very great protein bars. Um, these are 270 calories per bar. My favorite is the cookies and cream one. Um, so I'm eating that right now. But yeah, so I'm about to chill for the rest of the day. I'm about to edit this video. Take a rest day. Maybe I'll do some calisthenics like I usually do. On my days off, I don't like to just completely be uh, like, what, like not... I need to train some somehow so I feel better about myself. So I'll probably do calisthenics, so like pull-ups, push-ups, body weight stuff. So that's like less stressful on your nervous system. When you do calisthenics, it's way less. Um, it's easier to recover because you're not straining your nervous system. When you lift heavy weights a lot, you're going to strain your central nervous system. And that's when you really need to take rest days. When you do calisthenics, it doesn't really put much strain on it. So you can kind of get away with doing it more, especially on your rest days. That's what I'm about, I'm about to go do. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this YouTube video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Turn the bell notification on if you have not already so you're always up to date when i am posting um things coming up new raw year drop is coming out very soon i'm pretty sure the oversized drops on the 16th or the 17th and then the main drop is like on the 24th i don't know if i have those dates wrong but i'll probably post it on my social media anyways love you guys god bless have a good one peace out